All right, SureDog.com with Alistair Overeem. So, Mark Hunt, you hear those two words, what do you think? Well, I think about Saturday, 48 hours out. Um, it's going to be a good fight. You fought him back in 2008. It's been a long time, obviously. You've changed, he's changed his fighters. How do you see this fight unfolding? Well, there's different scenarios. Obviously, you know, in training camp, you're, you're talking about the scenarios. What can happen, what cannot happen. I can tell you I'm very ready. Uh, I can't wait to, uh, to get it on the seventh. Now, throughout your career, sorry, buddy. Throughout your career, you've taken on the best of the best. Where does he rank in terms of all the guys you fought? Well, he's not the best of the best, but he's not the, you know, again, I would say he's, he, what is his rank, seven or eight? Something like that, seven, eight, or maybe six, I don't know. But um, I just remember how strong he was. He was the strongest of all my opponents, I would say. Safe to say, the strongest, when I fought him back in 2008. So it's going to be very curious to, to, you know, to feel him now and his strength now, but looking at his physique, it does not really change that much. So I still think he's going to be damn strong. So that's just what I think of him. Hey, he's dangerous, he's strong, punches hard, he can take a hit, dangerous opponent. Do you see him changing his style at all this time around, or is he going to be the same exact fighter you fought back in 2008? Well, you never know, right? That's the, 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 the beauty of the sport. Somebody might have a whole new move set, a skill set. Uh, we just need to be ready for everywhere, right? For everything. You know, he's been very vocal about the whole steroid stuff, everything, and he's said that if you happen to fail again, he's going to sue you, he's pissed, he's screaming at the world. What are your thoughts about that? Does, does it bother you? Does, does you? you take it personally when he says stuff like that? I don't take it personal. Uh, I can understand his frustrations. Again, he's a, he's a former champion. I'm a fan of his fight style. He, um, uh, his, his last two or three opponents pissed hot, so I can understand his frustrations. But uh, at the same time, I'm kind of distancing myself from it. I like to keep things positive. I'm very much focused on myself. My, my um, second daughter just turned one last Monday. I have another one on the way, and uh, I'm just focused on myself. Do you think he's going a little bit overboard or no? I would. I would have not personally. I would have not taken the same route that he's taken. I would have not use those words, I would not uh, have the lawsuit, but that is me. And again, he uh, is free to make his own choices, and I wish him uh, luck in his, um, his endeavors. So you're keeping distance, you want to uh, remain positive, but, but hearing these things, does it drive you farther just to shut him up and, and put him out? No. No? Why no. Not? no, no, because he can make his own decisions. I mean, this is his quarrel with the UFC. Uh, obviously, it's going to attract a lot of attention and the negativity towards him. And I'm just trying to distance myself from that and keep things uh, positive. All right, if you win on Saturday, where do you where do you think you'll be, and where should you or who should you fight next after? That? Well, I don't know. There's um, you know again Steeper fighting JDS. So if JDS wins that fight, the, the rematch might be there. That Okay, let me put it this way. It might shorten my route towards the, the championship fight. But then I'm also looking forward to fight one of the new guys. And then I'm talking about the Frenchman Francis or uh, Derek Lewis. That is also, they're coming up, right? Somebody need to stop him. Somebody uh, who can do it. So that might be something there too. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, big challenge, you know, the big thing now is uh, Mark Hunt. That's the, 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 the big challenge. I mean, he's motivated, he's doing well in rematches, he's a very strong guy, he's a dangerous guy, can take a punch, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be hands on Saturday. And then final question, who wins the main event, Tyron or Wonderboy? You know, I like, um, I like Wonderboy, he's an amazing striker, but uh, Tyron really is clever too, very athletic, I, I think Tyron might, might get it again. Alright, thank you, appreciate it.